<laughs> I've talked about this before. I really don't have to talk about it, but, you know, I was having a conversation, you know, with my mom's boyfriend and shit, and I'm just over here like... <laughs> So, I guess, I mean, I don't have to make a video about it. We Let's just talk about, you know, about us right now with the whole, with, with this situation. Because we always want to talk about this religious folk, you know. But we never want to talk about us when it comes to these people. <laughs> it's hilarious. It is. It's fun. It's funny as fuck. That, you know, hold on. There's some. <sighs> hold on, guys. Okay, anyways, sorry about that. It's funny. It's funny that, you know, some religious folk out here think that they're going to be saved and shit like that, which is hilarious, you know? And then they want to, you know, you tell brothers and sisters that we made the pyramids and shit because they want to question, oh, who made the pyramids? And I'm like, you did. And then they'll be like, no, it was the Israelites. And I'm looking at them like, they're the fucking Israelites. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Cause They don't believe They don't believe they're great They believe they shit Religious people Believe that they'll crap They really do They really fucking do They really fucking do That's their fault <laughs> Not mine <laughs> Seriously uh, There's a reason why mama Woke me up Um <laughs> woke me up instead of anyone around my fucking goddamn family circle and shit like that you know <laughs> i'm not saying he, he i'm not saying he is family he's just a guy that my mom's my mom's dating but you know i want to pick the his brain a bit because you know he's a fan of these marvel shit and we're watching moon knight and crap so i'm just pointing stuff up stuff out you know but you know you know how these are uh, religious folks all they want to they want to be like, no, we can't do that. We're not great and everything like that. You know, you think what you want to think. I was even going to tell more of, of, of him of some stuff, but I was just like, nah, nah. You know how you tell people? You know how you, people have probably felt this feeling, right? I, I'll be honest with you. I felt this feeling all the time, every time. Because when you know thyself and you know the truth and you hear stupid shit coming out of people's mouth, you really just want to be like, you you, you just get instantly frustrated and you're like, you dumb motherfucking piece of shit, you know, <laughs> you know, so it's just hilarious to me that they will believe in afterlife and shit like that, but they won't believe any of the Egyptian stuff or the Mayans or anything like that, you know, they just want to go back to that Bible shit, <laughs> seriously, man, you know, he, he was even telling me like, Oh, you know, uh, they, they said this in the Bible, the, the Israelites and shit like that. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just laughing my ass off. Like, this nigga is stupid as fuck. <laughs> you know what, should I even say nigga? Nah, man. You're not a nigga. You're not. I'm, I'm sorry. All right? You might be Corbin, but you ain't no nigga. <laughs> ain't no naga. All right, because if you remember who you are, you are a naga. All right, I'm saying that right now, baby. All right, <laughs> look, this is not to downgrade no one that's not in tune with spiritual with themselves. I'm not doing that. I'm just laughing because we used to be like that. That's mostly what I'm laughing about because we used to be like that. And I'm just shaking my head sometimes to brothers and sisters that are like, you guys don't know what the fuck how great you are, and you guys think you could pathetically shit. So a white man's better than you? Okay. Okay. Go ahead, think that. Because when remember that whole video about Remedy H making a video saying that, you know, um, basically time is moving close. Time is um, moving rapidly, and also we're getting close to that time frame. When Remedy H talked about, um, you know, getting these abilities, basically like that, one of his latest videos and shit, literally everything that he said in that video, I already knew and I, and I thought about and I mentioned in my other videos. So, I'm giving you, I already gave the timestamp to some of these elites too, and I, you guys have heard this too. It's either to December, November, it's either November or December, leading to, or leading or trickling all the way to 2023, okay? Seriously. And I said that months ago, months ago. And, and that was before when July hit and shit like that. 
And look at it now. Look at it now. And then when I got confirmation of mama, everyone else is getting confirmations from mama now. That this shit's done. That this shit's over. That it's almost done. That it's almost time. Okay? So when I look at brothers and sisters that are still in this religious shit, obviously it's funny. And you know, you, you, you keep your space, you, they keep their space, you know? Because you know where you at, you know who you are, and then, you know, like Remini H said, let the sleeper sleep. And it's true. That's why I didn't try to argue with the with my mom's um boyfriend and shit like that. You know, her boyfriend of the week. <laughs> How dare you say that about your mama? Oh, come on. Come on. <sighs> Please, man. She's probably not even my real mother. Maybe in this realm, yes. And I will treat her as my mother as such. But, <laughs> man. And I will respect her and all that shit. And, I, and I'll tell her some of the stuff that, you know, what's happening. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. That's fine. But, you know, sometimes you just have to tell certain people of what's going to happen. Because you know, it has to make them think eventually. And I want to tell you this, too. This happened today. This happened today. Amon's boyfriend tried to use his credit card. It didn't work. It didn't work. He tried to use his um, ETB. It didn't work. It's already starting, guys. It's already starting. It's already starting. Once I heard that shit from him, I was literally making, um... I was literally making, um... Freaking, um... What is it, uh... Pasta and shit like that. You can see it right here. I make that shit. Shit looks good. Um, so I was making pasta and shit. And <laughs> literally comes and says, I can't use my EBT. And I'm like, I'm hearing I'm hearing them and shit like that. And I'm like, it's finally started. It's finally started. Even even if it's not like even for example, even if it's just one person that didn't have their ET, ETB working, it still is an effect of it still happening. Alright? All right, and plus this has been happening for like months and months. You know how st you know how sometimes um ATM stop working, then they go back up and start working again. Yeah, they're trying to tell you the frequencies in this planet are too high. Okay, they're way too high, way too high. All right, and already for that little moment they freaked out. That little moment, right there, of not getting money from the EBT, they freaked out. That right there. I'm telling you, man. If you have family members and shit, I already made my plans for this shit. When this shit goes down, I'm going to grab a bag and head to and head to fucking battle. All right? Because like um, Renmi each pointed out on um, one of his videos and shit like that. When we go, um, because the planet's gonna go to war soon, and we are gonna join her. Okay? That is soon. Very soon. All right? That's why. That's why I, I said look forward to. November, December, and to, to and all the way to 2023. Right? It, it is going to trickle all the way to 2023. All right? Don't be surprised if we have to battle all through 2023. Don't be surprised. Seriously, guys. All right? Because these motherfuckers want to want to increase their fucking uh, what is it? Their their shit. Talking about 2030 and all that stuff, which you know Remedy H has talked about again, and I've talked about it too. When I'm hearing Remedy H saying that, oh, 2030 or 2025, motherfucker, and I'm like, thank you, thank you, speak, brother, speak, because no, I don't want this shit. This, these motherfuckers suspect this shit to end in 2030 or 2025, and I'm putting my foot down and said, no, motherfucker, this shit ends this year. All right. We are tired of you motherfuckers, okay? And the war will continue on in 2023. It ends this year, and the war will continue in 2023, motherfucker. All right? Because you won't... Because I've already said this before, and it's common fucking sense. It's getting harder and harder and harder, and you expect them to stay here in 2025 or 2030 or 2050? Are you stupid? You're fucking idiots. You're not thinking. You just want to be like, oh, yup, yup, 2050, yup, yup, 2030, 2025, <laughs> That's all you want to do. That's all you want to do. You know? Seriously. And I used to hear like some brothers and sisters talking about, yeah, 2450 or 20, you know, um, 2025. And I'm just looking at them. I'm like, fuck you. Literally. I told them. I literally said that. I'm like, fuck you. You want the system to last long instead of putting your fucking foot down 
like I just did, and literally saying, screaming, no, fuck that shit. Because when I say it and I put my foot down, guess who's listening? Guess who's listening? The planet. Seriously. And some of you, and some, some people still think that the planet is not even fucking conscious or, or anything like that. You, you guys are going to have a fucking good awakening coming soon. You will. You fucking will. And it's going to be fucking hilarious, man. There's a reason why I'm called the Skull Con, because I'm going to laugh at all your fucking stupid shit. It is. I'm going to laugh at all your stupid shit. And I can't wait to look at his, I can't wait to look at my, my mom's boyfriend's face when all these churches get fucked up. Oh, they're evil. They're evil. But I'm flying over there and I'm doing shit too. <laughs> oh my God, man. Look. I love my family. I love my family members and shit like that. But I, I told them a long time ago when the shit goes down, I'm leaving. I already told them. They know. They know. And I know that my sisters, my brother-in-law, and my friends, they know it's not a joke. What I, what I told them. They know it's not a joke. But I don't know about my mom or their anything, you know? Because you know you have family members and you talk about this stuff or you talk about, you know, what they're talking about and you'd be like, that is, I'm sorry, that's not true because you think it is true just because you're following a fucking goddamn book instead of you. That's why I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to explain to my mom's boyfriend a bit. I'm like, you are an open book. That's, that's all I said. I wasn't going into detail or anything like that. I wasn't being like trying to, I wasn't trying to bash it in his brain or anything like that. I wasn't doing that. I was just listening to him and I was just like, damn, this motherfucker is lost. Lost as fuck. And then he's, and then he's like, oh, I love the Egyptian story and all that shit. And in my head, I'm like, what do you think you like it so much? <laughs> Talk about the Bible and shit like that. And then you'd be like, I love Egypt. I love the story. And I'm like, yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why, dumb motherfucker. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. He did give me, you know, markers and pens to finish my animation stuff, you know. But still, come on, man. Call a spade a spade. Don't be dumb. Don't be naive. You know, this is this is what we need to deal with sometimes, man. But we're not, we don't have to deal with it that long, you know. We don't have to deal with it for that long. Seriously, we can't, uh, you know. We can't basically, we can't let, what is it? You know how some people say, you know, stay away from, you know, 3D, 3D human free, something like that, you know, that mindset and shit like that. So you can't stop your family members dating people that are unenlightened or don't fucking get it. You know, sometimes I'll be like, you're an unenlightened piece of shit, you know? Sometimes I do that. <laughs> Sometimes I say that because I get frustrated with my brothers and sisters here. I'll be like, you are so great and so fucking awesome. But you're going to be like, nah, that's not happening. Nah, that's not happening. We can't have technology that that, that was before then. And then, <laughs> and then my mom's boyfriend is like, look, I study this, that, and this, and that. And none of them don't tell me. I'm like, nah, yeah, no shit. Dumb motherfucker. You see, see, that's a type of, see, these are the type of people that want to look for something and they know something's different around here, but they're still looking instead of within. I even told them some of the stuff that, you know, we've been, well, I've been talking about and shit, and he's like, well, how do you know all of this? I'm like, because of meditation. It, it doesn't, and I told him, it doesn't happen overnight. He's like, I'm like, yeah, because you have to keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. Just because you meditated once. Oh, I know everything. The fuck? <laughs> uh, uh, in the words of spiritual soul that's tough <laughs> you know <laughs> I haven't watched that, uh, that guy in a while mainly because I you know I've seen some videos about other YouTubers that could be cloned and could be talking about all this knowledge stuff but I'll clone of other celebrities and shit like that you know and the thing is I don't it's just I'm not saying the people that I watch all like that no but what i learned after i stopped watching certain people that did talk about what's happening to the planet you know right now i'm just sticking to like what two or three people and that's really it to be honest that's sometimes that's all you need because if they know what's going on and you know what's going on man, man you guys gotta stick together 
right? Even you might not, you might not know each other in the physical plane, but in the spiritual plane, you know each other, right? I've already said this before. I had a dream a long time ago that I saw Brother Remedy H. I did. I saw him in the astro room. I don't remember fully, but I just remember laughing, giggling, and literally he touched, um, touched me in the shoulder right here. We were just laughing and shit like that. That was, <laughs> I'm not kidding you, that was a dream that I had a long time ago. And I woke up one day and I'm just like, did I have, did I have a dream with Remedy H? What the fuck just happened here? You know, I was so like, you know, I don't tell a lot of people this, mainly because I know how some people are. They're like, oh, well, you're lying and this and that. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I couldn't make this shit up if I tried, man. You know, I also, also had a dream too that the girl that I like, you know, she had a baby with her and shit like that. And I'm looking at that dream of like, oh, well, does she have a kid that she's not telling me and shit like that? But um, um, when I got out of that dream, I started thinking about it more and more and more and analyzing it more. I saw that dream and I'm like, wait a minute, no, she's holding my kid. Holy shit, I'm literally seeing the future here, you know? So, understand and understand what's going on here, guys. And understand and understand that, you know, we don't have to take, we don't have to take the system shit anymore, all right? I'm not saying, oh, we don't have to take what our brothers and sisters are saying, like what I'm talking about in this video and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, people... Like he said, oh, well, you have your opinion and I have mine. I'm like, I literally was going to tell him it's not my opinion. It's not. It's not my opinion. I'll tell you this right now. It's not my opinion. It's fact. And it's and when I get knowledge from the planet, knowledge from mother, that ain't no fucking, that ain't no opinion. Seriously. Right? I, and I was even going to tell him too that, okay, so... You rather follow, I'm like, you rather follow, uh, <laughs> I don't know, damn, man, I had it in my hand. I was like, you were going to follow a white man, but you won't follow yourself. Man, those are the people that are going to be led to the slaughterhouse, to be quite honest with you. And, and at that point, I don't care. I don't care. All right, brother, people are already telling you this is done. It's, it's already too late. Seriously. People are already telling you that. And people don't want to listen. All right? Like, for kind of loud, when I heard all that stuff about um, what Remy H talked about, I was going to tell some of my friends and family members, but I was just like, nah, man. Like Remedy H said, let the sleeper sleep. You know? We have our fun, and then while they're freaking out, they're going to be trying to looking for us. Like I said before, I told, I remember telling my family members and friends that, I'm in, in also in YouTube videos, I said that I won't be here. And when I won't be here, you guys will be looking looking for me because I'm because I'm because I'm the only one that knows what the fuck is going on around your soccer and everyone's gonna be like whoa, whoa, whoa what's this guy what's this guy at I'm like I'm nowhere to be found because I'm fighting these motherfuckers but you didn't but you know you heard what I said and you thought it was an opinion but it wasn't an opinion it was fucking factor it was coming from nature okay but you you guys thought it was just an opinion and that's your fault you know, there's sometimes I might think there's some things I might speak my opinion on, but there's other things that I'd be like, guys, mother on um, mother nature is literally telling me this. Don't kill the messenger. OK, now I remember what I was going to say to him, to my mom's boyfriend that, oh, OK, you say it's my opinion, but I'm the messenger and you're just going to ignore the messenger. Just like people ignored Jesus, basically. Because you believe in the Bible, right? They ignored him and look what they did to him. They crucified him. So in your terms, since it's my opinion, I should get crucified, right? Because, you know, Jesus had an opinion, right? And then you were like, uh, <laughs> and once these, and once all people see the real Jesus and shit, that, fuck, that guy is not even fucking named Jesus. His name is Yeshua. Okay? And at this time, if you guys don't know that fucking... If you don't know that by now, then I don't know what the fuck is... I don't know what to tell you. I literally don't know what to tell you. Because this shit's done. This shit's over. It's over. It's over. Like I said before, we have November, December, and all the way to 2023. Right? The reason I mentioned November, December, because it could happen in December or November. So pay attention to those two months. Like I said in my other videos, remember when I said, oh, things could start happening in August and July? And guess what? It started, ha shit started happening in July. Look back at my other videos and people that have been looking at this channel, they know, they know. 
They'd be like, yup, brother, you've been saying that shit. You have been saying that. And I'm looking around and I'm like, holy shit, Skull Clown's right around here. Holy shit. It's like, yeah, I know, you know, I might get some things wrong and that's fine. But at least, at least I know what's up and at least I'm in tune with thyself and nature. You know? And, and if I get anything wrong, at least I'm man enough and responsible enough to be like, yep, I'm wrong. You know? What was it? Um, being accountability of your, of your actions, basically. So that's why, I, so, so if I ever get anything wrong, that's why I'd be like, all right, I'm, I'm wrong. And I'm sorry that I'm wrong. You know? But I know I'm not wrong about this shit. I know I'm not. I know I'm not. It's, it's that type of knowledge and that type of wisdom that if someone ever degrees, disagrees with you, you feel that anger inside of you. You know? Why? Because you, the reason I feel that anger inside of me is because you're saying no to the planet. And that hurts me. That does. That pisses me off, actually. When you say, oh, no, this and that, and the planet's telling me, you know, that, you know how that makes me feel? Makes me not want to hang out with you. Makes me not want to associate with you at all. That's how I feel. And then you want to tell your brothers and sisters that, or your friends and shit, and then they'll be like, well, get out of here. Yeah, I will, because you want to be in your fucking goddamn feelings and not know thyself. That's why I fucking hate about people sometimes, man. You want to know, you want to find out answers, but never go within. You want to research on these articles and look at books, and you still will never find the answer, and still want to question why is this and why is that, because you're not finding the answers. You're going around in circles. If you're going around in circles, maybe there's something wrong. To all you religious fuck them in. Seriously. All you guys want to fucking go around here and be like, oh, oh, oh. You know, that's it. It's, it's, you know, it's a great time to be alive, to be honest, because when this shit goes down, you're going to see you, your own family members and whoever, and whatever, and whatever person they're dating, they're going to re react fucking crazy. They're going to go crazy. And you have no, uh, you have, you have no choice but to leave your own fucking goddamn house. I mean, you're going to leave your own goddamn house anyways because shit's going to go down. When shit goes down, you... The thing is, when, when shit goes down, most likely you won't even be in your fucking goddamn house. You'll probably be either outside or you already have these abilities and you're being like, holy shit, and mother calls to you. Because nature, baby, when you're in tune with nature, she's going to tell you where to go. She does that with animals. She's going to do that with us. Okay? Seriously. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and be safe. You know, be safe. I'm glad I made this video. You know, I guess I have to thank him for it because I made this video. Caught me thinking and shit like that. I'm like, look at this shit. But, you know, it's something that obviously, you know, if you're around people like that, just, you know, obviously let go and shit like that because it's not worth it. It really isn't. It's not worth it. It's not worth over fighting someone that doesn't know thyself. That's why sometimes I'll just be like, forget it, forget it. And I know some people might be like, no, no, forget it. I'm like, yes, forget it. Because the more I will talk, the more you won't get it. Because you don't know thyself or you haven't been doing the work. And it's not tuning my own horn. It's literally nature screaming out to you, you should be doing this shit. And you're not. So what she's doing now, she's not even going to, she's not even going to try. She's not. Nature's not even going to try to wake you up. Cause she's like, forget it. There's already a few that are awakened, and you know what? The, the few that are awakened are still going to be part of this whole shit that's going to happen. And when it and when this shit does go down, I guarantee you, other brothers and sisters will be like, "Yo, where's my brother? Where's my sister at?" You know, all of a sudden they're not here anymore, and I got these abilities and shit. They're the only one that knows what's going on around here. Where are they? We're nowhere to be found because we we decided to leave with your stupid. We decided to leave with that stupid fucking system that you decided to stay in. And also, we decided to make our own civilization. Because fuck that civilization that you're in, to be honest. You can join us and shit like that. But if you're going to bring that Bible shit to us and shit like that, you're being out of here. You're out. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. We won't even let you in. We just talk to you outside and we'll be like, nah, bye. You can't trespass here. It's trespassing. We would literally tell you that it's trespassing. Some of them, I bet you anything, some of my brothers and sisters will probably won't even hesitate to fucking boom if they wanted to. Not with a physical gun, but with their own fucking abilities and shit. Don't. There are brothers and sisters out here that will do that. So don't be like, oh, whatever, and be like, no, they will.
because they're tired of that system, man. They're tired of it. All right? You think I'm not tired of it? Of course not. Of course I am. I mean, of course I am. I'm tired of it all the time, man. But guess what? It's all, it's it's going to be over anyways. And it's already over. It's already over. And they're trying so hard to bring that shit back. For crying out loud, you're already having... You're already... There's already, like, what Wendy Yates said, there's already some people that are still trying to go to church and shit like that. And I already know that too because I see it around me. I'm like, these, I'm like looking at my people. I'm like, you guys don't know what's about to transpire or what's about to happen. And you guys are still trying to go to church and all that shit. And I'm like, I remember walking to my friend. I remember walking back home after I got out of my friend's house. And guess what? Started seeing fucking, you know, like Christian people. You know, there's like a little, you know, little... I guess like little small building that religious people go to and I'm just looking at them like, what happens if this building gets exploded by an Anunnaki brother and sister? What are you going to do? You're going to cry like a bitch or you're just going to be like, that is, that's the devil. Yet you're going to wait for a white man to save you. I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs>